Well, Mayor Gatsis points to a $1.5 million deficit by the third year of the contract and says that the agreement needs to be good for not only teachers, but taxpayers, too. Manchester teachers rallied outside City Hall, and the school board voted no confidence in Mayor Ted Gatsis, but he's still standing behind his decision to veto a three-year teacher contract. We just get up in the morning, go back to work, and do the things we have to do, and do the best we can for the taxpayers of this great city. We were deeply, dis deeply disappointed that our 14 votes, combined with seven votes of the aldermen, adding up to 21 votes of leadership in this city, were not enough to sway the mayor to provide support. Gatzes is concerned that while the contract saves money in the first year, it would create a $700,000 deficit in each of the two years that follow. I can't tell you what the future is going to bring. And to spend our future away is just not the right thing to do. He also points to the pay raises, saying they total 18.7 percent over three years. 7.2 percent the first year, 5.1 percent, and 5.7 in the third. But they're going to say, you know, we haven't had a contract in three years, we haven't had a pay increase in three years. If you take that average over five years, it's still 3.7 percent a year. But the vice chair says that's not the case. She says teacher compensation is a complex arrangement, depending on education level and tenure. And she says in some cases, base salary was increased. I'm not exactly sure which cell he's pointing to. I know that the 7 percent is an overall, when you average out all the cells, that is the amount. Ambrosi says that the board feels the contract is fiscally responsible and within the tax cap. And she hopes that they don't have to go back and start negotiating from scratch. The incoming president of the Manchester Education Association said in a statement, I believe that the vote of no confidence was the school board expressing its frustration at having their work and their opinions discounted once again. From the multiple financial reports that we have examined regarding this contract from the city financial officer, the school board, and our own negotiation team, we feel assured that this contract is fair and affordable for Manchester. Now, the school board has asked the alderman to vote again on the contract and leave the mayor out of the mix. Reporting live, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.